why, after accepting Isabel, why do you deny her now? I deny the fact that I am blood because her mom is a whore. Why you, would you are the whore. So you're both whores? You you're both whores? Uh -huh. Coming to us from Donovan, Missouri, is a woman named Elizabeth who is ready to do battle with her ex-boyfriend, Josh, and Josh's new fiance, Rose. You see, Elizabeth is certain that Josh is the biological father of her four-year-old daughter, Isabel. But Josh and Rose disagree. In fact, Josh claims that Elizabeth is a serial cheater and that any man in her hometown could be Isabel's dad. Maury, this was not an accident. This was a planned pregnancy, so we were both excited and happy when we found out we was pregnant. When did things start to go south between you and Josh? When she was a year or two old, I, I think he just got tired of sitting at home and not being able to do much of anything with the baby. I think he just got bored. But apparently, uh, the longer he has been away, the stronger his denial has become, right? Yeah. And who do you blame for that? His fiance, Rose. Why? Why do you think that? Like, she doesn't let him communicate anymore. Does he talk to Isabel at all? Here and there he does, but when he does try to, Rose will hide his phone or break his phone, or sometimes she pretends to be Josh and, and tells me that he doesn't want to see her or talk to her. And by the way, uh, there is a person in the house, apparently, who's really been there for you and Isabel in the past few months. Who is that? That's my boyfriend, Andrew. So Andrew's taken up the father figure in the home, is that it? Yes, he has. All right. He does everything with her. You know what Rose and, uh, and Josh say about Andrew? Yeah, uh, they're trying to say that they think Andrew is the father. How can that not be? Because I've only known Andrew for about seven months now. Oh, <laughs> I see. Guess what? In order to allay their fears, we, we had to give Andrew a paternity test. We did. So, everybody should know that Andrew took the paternity test, and we're going to talk to him later in the show. But first, Josh and Rose are both with us today from Russellville. I want to welcome them to the show. What I under don't understand is why, after accepting Isabel, why do you deny her now? I deny the fact that I am blood because her mom is a whore. Why you, would you are the whore. So you're both whores? You are... You're both whores? Uh -huh. I no, never cheated on her. Rose, you think Josh and Isabel look alike? Isabel does not have his skin tone. Isabel does not have his face features. Isabel does not have his shape. Isabel does not have his hair color. Now, Josh believes that Elizabeth's current boyfriend, Andrew, could be baby Isabel's dad. So we might as well hear from Andrew who joins us with Elizabeth today. So, Andrew, is it possible yes, you could be the father? No, sir. I've only been with, with Beth for about seven months. That's you, physically impossible. So you never met up before? No. Well, how do you feel when you had to take a DNA test? I felt like it was kind of, it, it's unnecessary, really. It was, it, it, it's just childish. Childish that I had to take a DNA test because Josh doesn't want to be a man and step up and be the father that he is. Right. But, you know, he's got people stepping on his toes. And who might that be? Rose, 100%. Meanwhile, uh, Andrew, as I understand it, you've even tried to get Josh and Isabel closer together, right? Yes, Maury. I, I've offered to, to bring her down there to see him, and oh, every time that we set something up, Rose always tends to either grab Josh's phone misplace it and Josh thinks he's lost it and really Rose has got it. Pretending to Pret be him. Right, pretending to be Josh. And that coming out of a 50 year old woman is very childish. You need to grow up. I had Josh's phone once, I it, on it and I destroyed it. Okay, all right. Josh, one more question to you and then I'm going to find out the results, all right? Do you want to be Isabel's father? Yes. That's all I want to know. We have the results. We're going to find out right now. In the case of four-year-old Isabel, Andrew, you are not the father. That takes care of that. Surprise, surprise, surprise. And in the case of four-year-old Isabel, Josh, you are the father.
But look at that. Hmm. It took Maury to be on TV, national TV, to there be able go. to embarrass yourself. Not only embarrass yourself, but realize. Now, let's see if you're going to actually step up. As long as he's not having to pay for your trip, he's a father. He doesn't pay for anything. We, he doesn't pay child support. He don't pay nothing. Let's hope you all work it out. If you love that gir little girl as much as you say you do, Josh, you'll find a way to uh, to see her. You are not the father. <laughs>